There's a ton of great third party notes app out there in the app store right now for you to go and download for the one that works for you. But in this video, I want to talk to you guys about why I love using the Apple Notes app and some cool tips and tricks for you for 2022 to get the most out of the Apple Notes app as well. But before we start this video, it would be really greatly appreciated if you give, would give this video a thumbs up so that somebody will maybe hopefully find this useful as well. Security and privacy is something super important to Apple and that's no different to Apple Notes as well. So one of the cool things in iOS 15 with Apple Notes is now it gives you the option to add Face ID before you open the Apple Notes app. So uh, to turn this on, you actually have to go into the settings app and then go into the security page and you'll have the option right there to turn on Face ID for your Apple Notes. So before every time now you open your Apple Notes, Face ID will be triggered to scan your face just to make sure that's actually you and so this is a great way of course just to keep your work and maybe a little bit much more secure depending on the work you, that you're doing or just to keep your notes private because you just don't want people to see your notes if you lend somebody your iphone for a minute or so so one of my favorite features in iOS 15 for the Apple Notes app is the collaboration feature. So this gives you the option now to share a note with a friend in your group to that you can either have them view the notes or you can actually give them the power as well to edit some notes. So if you're looking for somebody to maybe you're writing a paper and you need somebody just to proofread everything to just make sure everything's perfect, then you can actually give the person some editing power to help you maybe write down to to find your mistakes so that you can go back and edit your mistakes as well. So it's just a really, really neat feature, of course, when it comes to your productivity and of course, when it comes to your work, if maybe you're working in a team and you're using Apple Notes, now you have the option of to use the collaboration feature so that other people can edit your work and improve the work as well. So a neat feature, of course, in iOS 15 when it comes to the Apple Notes app is document scanning. So this is a cool feature, of course, that allows you to use the iPhone's camera and document scan and import it to your Apple Notes. And it you will either take a picture of it or you can actually write down all the information. It will copy out it will copy all the information with the camera and include it right on your Apple Notes. So this is a great way, of course, of just saving your documentation, uh, documentation on the iPhone so that because paper sometimes could get either messy or could get either damaged. And so just having your saved file on your documents on your Notes app, is just a great way of keeping everything nicely organized when it comes to whenever you need your document and to be found easily on your Apple Notes app. So another neat feature in iOS 15 when it comes to the Apple Notes app is the cool way that you can actually set up your Apple Notes. So there's different ways that you can actually set up your Apple Notes uh, depending on the style that you need it to. So if you need your Apple Notes to turn into a to-do list, then you can make it into a to-do list. If you need it to make into just normal notes, then you can have it to have no normal notes. If you need a table chart, you can actually include a table chart right in Apple Notes as well. So there's different types of styles of notes of how you can use Apple Notes, depending on what type of style you need it to be. And that's what I really enjoy about Apple Notes is how simple it is, but also how powerful it gives you different options um, depending on what you're looking for uh, when it comes to your Apple Notes uh, paperwork. So one cool feature in the Apple Notes app is the drawing feature. So of course, uh, Apple Pencil does not work with the iPhone, which sucks. It works with the iPad. So if you use Apple Pencil in the Notes app, then it will work perfectly. But of course, you can still use your finger as well to draw notes on the Apple Notes. So at least Apple gives you the option to do that as well. And this is a great way if you're just maybe sometimes bored or you just need to do some illustration work for uh, your work, you can actually start drawing right with your finger on the iPhone on the Apple Notes app, which is really, really fantastic, of course, because maybe this is for the creativ creativity users out there who need to share their work and artwork. And so this is a great way, of course, just to keep everything organized and when it comes to maybe your drawings on the Apple Notes app. So one of the best features on the Apple Notes app is the pin feature. So this allows you to pin any notes on your Apple Notes app to the top. So this is just to find your notes a little bit faster. So maybe you're doing a big project or maybe you want this to have priority. So every time you pin a note, it will go all the way to the top of the list so that you 
know that that's the most important one. And it's a great way, of course, to keep track of your most important task when it comes to your notes app as well. So that everything nicely organized in your Apple notes and you know where to find it as well. So smart folders are a new feature included in the notes app in iOS 15 and smart folders are one of the coolest things right now that you could do in the Apple notes app. And that is because you can actually add keywords into your Apple folder. So this will make it easy and simple, of course, to include all your, no all your notes that have a certain keyword into that folder. So let's say for example, uh, the iPhone keyword is included on some of your notes and then you make a smart folder with the iPhone keyword. So all your notes that have the iPhone keyword will be included into that folder. And this is just a great way of course just to keep everything nicely organized. So every time you search for the, your keyword iPhone, all the notes that have the iPhone keyword will pop up right there so that you could find it a little bit much more faster, your notes um, whenever you need that note to be used for your work. So that's pretty much it for the top tips and tricks for the notes app for the iPhone in 2022. Now, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be really great if you guys will give this video a thumbs up or even hit the subscribe button as well. And so that's pretty much it for this video. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.